I am going to play the Minish Cap. And, and I'm, I'm gonna, gonna suck at even the smallest crap. So let's shrink its size, and we'll soar to the skies, and then we'll claim a prize, and have some fries, have some fries, have some fries, have some fries, have some fries yeah. Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sound here, welcome to Zelda the Minish Cap. We are finally doing it. It has been a long time coming, and it's 2004 and 2005, and I am ready to go. So, what do you say we get started here? All right. I gotta choose a file. Well, this is new. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna call myself? Uh, yes, yeah. Second file, not just the game pack. I have... Okay, I have actually played this game before. Once, about... God. 15 years ago? I don't know. Um, I got through the first dungeon, and then I got a bottle, and I couldn't figure out that I was supposed to use the bottle as an item to scoop up water, because I had never done that in a Zelda game before. Because I hadn't played in Majora's Mask. Did you do that in Ocarina of Time? I don't remember. Anyway. Well, there's like a story happening here. Maybe I should pay attention. The tiny Picori appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. Okay, I get what I do with the sword, but what do I do with the golden light? Do I use it on a golden body somewhere? Yeah, so pretty standard stuff. Wisdom and courage, hero drove out the darkness, everybody was happy. But then suddenly one day, Death Mountain started stirring and Ganondorf decided to come down from the up on high. Oh man, this is cozy. It's cozy already, man. Man, I don't remember this at all. I, I get a feeling I'm not going to. Oh, I love Zelda's little design in this game. It's super, 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 super cute. Is this her house or my house? I don't know if I want... Okay, it's the blacksmith's house. Well... Um, good morning, Master Smith. Oh. oh, young lady, how's it going? Okay, that was annoying. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all the way this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Well, surely... Maybe she told him. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's NCS? Where's my boyfriend? The whole town is bustling for the annual Picori Festival, and I want to make sure he's ready, like in Skyward Sword. Oh, I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Wait, is this my dad or something? Is she asking permission? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, NCS was up late helping me last night, because he's such a good person to do that, and he's still asleep. Bless the boy's heart, he's so tired. But I do have an errand to the castle. Yes, that should be fine. NCS, yeah, it's time to get it. Where am I? There's no other doors or rooms in here. Wait, what? Was there a door? And I just didn't see it? Oh my god, look at that bedhead. Ah, oh, only so much you can do with pixels, but boy, that's some bedhead right there. Oh man, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving! Holy shit! I don't believe it! Haha! <laughs> let, let me check something real quick here. Um, tools... Okay, that looks a little better. I, it seemed like I put I changed the frame skip to one, and it was on two for some reason. Yeah, okay. I remember I had to do this with Metroid Fusion as well, linking my cursor off the screen. Yeah, this is like a different house. Wow, which door do I want to go in? Can I examine stuff? I got B and A. I got roll. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I can totally roll. Yeah, nice. What was that? Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So yeah. Hey, NCS! Princess Zelda's here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Dad! Yeah, NCS, come on. Let's go check out the festival. Let's ditch this... loser. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Uh, no, actually, I'm the one who's at... Never mind. Uh, yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun! And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the Minister of Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Gee, I wonder what's gonna happen. You accepted the Smith Sword. The Smith's Sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery, you know? This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. You must be groups at the bird race, and then you must take a dump on the toilet. Oh, sorry, I got that song stuck in my head. Zelda is the Princess of Hyrule. I don't know if you knew that, but, uh, yeah, you should watch over her. Don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. I'll be watching over him, make sure nothing bad happens to him. How about that? Maybe I can scream crazily when he takes damage in the Ocarina of Time fight. 
Oh, she's going on ahead. You better catch up. Better catch up. She's getting away. Hello. Zelda is the Princess of Hyrule. You watch over her. Don't you dare let anything bad happen to her, or I will kick your ass. You got 20 rupees. Hey, that's great. All right, can I with pots? Wait, how do you do that with R? Oh, you do it with R. Okay. Well, that's a little weird, but okay. I can get used to that. I'm going to be using R a lot, I suspect. It's okay, though. I do not mind. Oh, man. NTS over here! Aw. Alright, let me let me just mow my grass first. Boy's gotta have priorities here. Yeah, I'll tell ya. Hmm, maybe I can go this way. Oh, can't lick the stumps. I'm just gonna lift every single bush that I can. Like, I don't wanna go... I'm gonna keep Zelda waiting for a really long time. She's gonna be so mad at me by the time I finally get over there. Is there Pokemon in this grass? Nope. Oh, I like the clouds. Oh, that's cool. Hello. It's yes, hurry, let's go. I laugh like Mal in, in Ocarina of Time. Maybe that's my life in Ocarina of Time. I don't remember. Over here, come on, hurry up. Oh my goodness, oh my god. Hyrule Town, Caster Wilds, Minish Woods. Oh, gee. Well, here we are. The town of Hyrule. The town of Hyrule. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, am I going to have to talk to all these people? I just want to fight some shit, man. Eh. But that's fine. Here we are, NCS. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around! Alright. I'm trying to sing the Millennial Fair song. And I can't concentrate with this music playing in my head. This music's pretty good, though. They say that every hundred years, the Picori come to Hyrule. And this is the 100th year to the day since the last time the Picori were here. I'm gonna have to see if I can skip text here. Whew, preparing for the festival. Let me up. Oh, okay, it's B. You can use B to skip it. Still, I'm just enjoying watching people have fun. Okay, cool. Hey, Zelda. NCS, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to Oh, I wonder what's over there. <laughs> Ooh, what's that over there? Oh, you're playing Breath of the Wild. Do you think I'll really see the Picori if I'm on my best behavior all the time? Mm -hmm, probably. I don't believe in the Picori. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm too old to believe in any stupid old fairy tale. Oh, yeah. You're in a video game. Are you enjoying yourself, NTS? This is the biggest festival in Hyrule. If you don't stop to enjoy it, you'll miss out on all the fun. They say the Picori bring happiness to all the humans they meet. I wonder when they will bring happiness to me. Aw. Sad. Hey, old lady. Each year, there is a sword fighting tournament at the Picori Festival. This year's tournament is already over. I couldn't believe how fast it went. Oh, no! I didn't get to be in the tournament! I hear the victor was a mysterious man dressed entirely in black. Oh. Well, that's not ominous at all, now, is it? I'm just on my way back from seeing the tournament at Hyrule Castle. Let me tell you, watching all those sword fights made me hungry. Made me home. Come one, come all, try your luck and win incredible prizes! That throne controller, can I? Yeah, maybe later. It's over here. That's yeah, a banner. Got balloons. Play some balloon vest. Here we go, got Dalsim over here. Oh, hi! Are you enjoying the fast at all? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here, and my fresh fruits are just delicious. Buy some! I love festivals. It's like seeing your town transform into another world. It really gives you a chance to think about how well we have it here. Yup. No electricity, but that's okay. You're the boy from the old Master Smith's place, right? I'm sure you know this, but he's the best swordsmith I will ever see. Every year I enter the tournament trying to win that sword of his. I ain't won yet, and maybe I never will, but the tournament was awesome. The winner this year was a new face. I've been wondering where he's from. He used some incredible techniques and won the whole tournament in record time. Oh, don't you hate when that happens? I've been on the road free while I come back in time for the festival. It feels wonderful to be back in Hyrule again in this joyous time. I must put these feelings into verse. La 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 la. Hello. I've never seen Picori before. Hey guy, have you ever seen Picori? I saw one just the other day. It wore a red cone shaped hat and it was really small. It ended up standing inside my dad's shoe. I really saw it, I swear. Why would you be looking in there? I don't know. Day and night, he's going on and on about Picori. This and Picori, that. Doesn't he know they're nothing but a silly fairy tale to make kids behave? I really hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. It might be like Picori or something like that, but, uh... This is my first ever Picori Festival, so where are all the Picori, anyway? Oh. Oh, cutscene. So the Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's having fun. Only once every hundred years does the mystic doorway open. This is the door that links the human world to the world of the Picori. When this door opens, the Picori can enter our world, and guess what? 
We can enter theirs. This marks the hundredth year since they last appeared here. I'm sure something wonderful is going to happen at this festival. I'm getting bad vibes now from the uh, Say, so wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament to the cat? Yeah, it's over. I lost. I, I lost by not going. I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here. Well, let's keep following her. That's going to be how we get through this. Oh, you want to play the game, huh? Wait, what? 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 We have a winner. Oh, dude. Oh, my, Princess Zelda, you won the grand prize in our drawing. Wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes, what will it be? First, we have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next, we have this magnificent gem. And finally, there's... Ooh! Oh, how do I pick? Which one would you like? Let me guess. The jewel? Oh, but this hot stone is very cute, too. Choose whichever one you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. That's just like Zelda. That's so Zelda. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem. It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope. I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay. Here's your teeny tiny shield. Jeez. Here, I want to give you a present. Oh my god, Zelda, you're so sweet! You didn't have to do that, sweetie! Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. Hold the button. Ha! <laughs> the button! I assume it's R. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. Now if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master to the sword of the castle. Let's go, and see us. Ah. It's a R, B... Okay, it's A. Gotcha. A. 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 I guess we're going forward. I've never seen the Picori before. Ah. Uh, hey, guy, have you ever seen Picori? I saw one to say the day. Oh, right. Okay, yeah. I'm talking to you guys already. We've talked to them already. My sister and I came a long way to see the Picori Festival this year. Is it true the festival is named after tiny people the size of my thumb? I want to see what they look like. Do you know where I can go to see them? Nope. People from all over the place come to Hyrule Town for the Picori Festival. Alright. I'm in a dispatch from Hyrule Castle up north to watch over the festivities. Good for you. Oh, it's Snot Nose Kid, like from Wind Waker. So, 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 I've been good all year, like, all year long, and you know how Bakori only shown so if you've been good, and, and so, so, so I'm just, just waiting for the Bakori to come and play with me. Mm hmm. That's some good shit, good shit, good shit. Hyrule Castle is just up ahead. I'm not singing any particular notes. Come on, NCS, let's hurry to the castle. Come on, Mom, I want to go play. Do I have a sword? I have the shield. I can't use the sword yet, though. Can I equip it? Uh oh. Whoa, whoa, hell on, hell. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. Wrong voice. They were saying the Deku scrub had been hassling all the passers by. NTS, do something about it! Otherwise, we can't get to the castle! If only we had some way to defend ourselves against those nuts of his. Ah. Yeah, right. Oh, A, A, A. Like, old school A. Please forgive me, sir! I heard there was a festival and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Only instead, I ended up standing in between these four conveniently placed stumps so that no one could get out. Everyone got scared and ran away and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. I'll see you there and I'll get your heart container. Makes me feel a little sorry for that business scrub, but that not hurt. Oh, oh well, he won't be hassling anyone now. Boy, if Luke and Jin ever played this game, dear God. Okay, wow, I like, like the look of the trees, I do. I really don't remember. Oh, shoot, okay, uh, maybe not do that. Maybe we need the candle for that. Wow, I feel like I can just go any- oh, well, it, they're definitely Royal Valley. They're definitely showing obstacles and stuff here, like, okay, you'll be able to do this later, and whatnot, so I'm just gonna cross the bridge. Like, I don't even have the ability to swim yet, I don't think. Ah, Princess Zelda, when did you leave the castle? Hello. Welcome to Hyo Castle. I will be welcomed. I mean, I feel welcome. Hello. Oh, the sword for the award ceremony. You should take that to Minister Potho. Potho? That's 
that's the name. Hey, what's up? Sorry, but we're getting things ready for the ceremony. I can't let you pass. Okay, Gandalf. Preparations for the award ceremony are coming along nicely. Yeah. Just fluff text, really. Sorry, but we're getting things ready for the ceremony. Oh, hey, old man. It's an old man. He must be important. Oh, NCS, you brought the sword, did you? I think. Then as Minister to the Kingdom of Hyrule, I, Potho, accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, NCS, but I'd better go. I have to go prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Well, it's nice to let Link and Zelda spend some time together like this. Like, Skyward Sword is really the only other game where you get to see that. Uh, unless I'm forgetting something, and I'm sure I am. Since you're here, NCS, why don't you join us in the award ceremony? I mean, no, I was just gonna walk back home, but, you know. Wow, who stuck it in there? Hmm. Ah, do you know about that sword, NCS? It is called the Picori Blade, and it looks much evil. It locks much evil away in that chest. The Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. Legend has it that long ago, the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. But don't you dare pull it out, or you release all the evil in the world. Yes. Let the award ceremony commence. Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. Your honor? Yeah, oh, this ain't good. I, I do know about this. I know who Vati is and all that shit, so... <laughs> no real surprises here, but, you know... To think things would go this well. The Picori Blade and the bound chest spoken of in Hylian lore. This chest must hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of its contents now. Say what? <laughs> oh man. Aw, oh, she. Oh please. Oh please. You really think? As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. All my life. Oh lord. Oh, Lord! Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. He's not even gonna touch the blade. He's just gonna blow it to smithereens. I didn't. I don't remember that. Oh, God, look at this! Oh, Zelda, shield yourself. Because <laughs> I can't. Oh, Link had his shield up, too. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess with the mystic arm. The power that was gifted to the people of Hyrule still flows within the veins of the ladies in its royal family. Interesting. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Okay, time to stick up. To stone with you! Haha, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> oh, who's standing in my way shall share this fate. <laughs> now, to find out what power awaits me in this chest. <laughs> yes. What's it gonna be? Empty? There was nothing in there but a rabble of monsters. What is the meaning of this? Vati is the meaning of this. Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna lie there dead, are you? Well, I'm out of here. Well, that sucked. Oh, back to the bed. Oh, I got myself a maid. Oh, I'm in the castle here. Holy jeez, dude. Do I need to wake up? I'm just gonna sit here for a minute and, th or, and reflect on my failure as the once renowned. Okay, I'm getting up. Can I? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Link like opened his eyes and looked to the left, but his head was still looking to the right. That's always funny when that happens. Oh, thank goodness you're awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Well, His Majesty. I I feel bad for him because like. People are going to be all on his case, like, why didn't you give us free health care? Look what happened. Oh, and yes, you're awake. Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The King of Hyrule is about to speak. Well, let him speak. It is as you have all heard. A sorcerer named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. Look at her. She's gray. She has no complexion. And worst of all, she can't cook for me. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. 
What do you know about the Picori? Nothing. Well, they're tiny, I know. <laughs> Not much beyond what the fairy tales say. They're supposed to be very tiny, if I'm remembering correctly. Yes, the ones from the fairy tales. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori who forged the Sacred Blade live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once! No, you dumbass! Soldiers will not do! The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers can search for days and still find no sign of those. I see. Well, if only there were a child around here. Oh, well, just straight to the point. If NCS has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you, along with the broken Picori blade. Alright, when do I get my hat? That's what I want to know. Anyway, we got part of the sword, need to reform the sacred sword. Don't lose it. Okay, I'll try. And you got an actual sword that you can use! The Smith Sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Oh, that's my grandfather. Jeez, okay. Very well then, send the soldiers to search for Vati at once. So they can get their asses kicked again. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. But I think it would be best if you started your search there! Take this map with you! If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start, and then L or R to open the map. I've marked the location of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. Oh man, we got all the preparations here. All the bare necessities. Oh yeah, that's right. You gotta kind of fill this out as you go. So this is already what we've seen. Now you might look at this and think, oh, we've already seen a third of the world. No, no, not quite. <laughs> It's not going to feel that way when you get into this, and I'm just saying that because I've seen enough footage of this game to know. But, uh, I don't really have a scope for how big the world is just yet, but I think we'll, we're going to find out. That's why we're playing this here today. It's useful when you want to move fast. Don't forget, and if you want to save during the game, press start to save. Oh, okay, you can just do that anytime. Yeah, right there, how about that? Can I, like, okay, when I when I go to the screen, can I just press, like, a left, up? Yeah, there we go. Nice. All right, very good. Hmm, shall we explore? We want to do that. Hey, yeah, sword, all right. <laughs> yeah, when I did watch people play this game, though, I, I, for a long time, I don't, I don't really understand why this is, but for a long time, I kind of was a little bit, I guess, annoyed by the fact that they put all the Ocarina of Time kid sound effects in, like, yeah, 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 you know, because you, know, you can get into this game, you start like that right there when you're swinging really fast, just over and over again, and I found it kind of annoying. I, I don't think I do as much now, but it was a thing, I and mean, maybe that's part of why I didn't play this game sooner, you know, or, well, I, that's the thing, they're like, maybe eventually play it, but... I just didn't get very far because of the whole bottle thing. I'll definitely be pointing that out again when we get to that point. But in the meantime, Zelda! Oh, we got Octorox, really cool death animations. We got a rock, we're not going to be able to beat that for a while, I'm guessing. Probably need bombs or some shit like that. Taking a dump on the toilet again, and it smells like a power bear. Can I beat those? I don't think so. Yeah, the sword is a little bit longer than I thought it would be. I thought it was actually really bad. It is pretty small, but it's not, like, painfully small. You got a heart. You can replenish your life energy a little bit. Uh, oh, okay, we can destroy those bushes, too. Handy. You got one rupee. It's green. <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't notice that part. Uh, yeah. I mean, what has happened here? Yeah. I think another thing about this game that always kind of weirded me out, and I was talking about this on Twitch, actually, the other night, too. But, uh, most other Zelda games, 
have like a counterpart, like Ocarina has Majora's Mask. Zelda 1 and 2 kind of go together. Link's Awakening and the Oracle games all kind of go together. And then like Wind Waker goes together with Phantom Hourglass and Spear Tracks. But uh, more, most of the recent games don't really have counterparts though. Like Twilight Princess is kind of its own thing. It's a standalone. Scoured Sword is kind of standalone, and Breath of the Wild definitely standalone. Although it will soon have a counterpart that's coming up May. We all look forward to that. But this game, for some reason, doesn't really have, like, a twin like all the other ones do. I know I'm only just not saying twin, I was saying counterpart before. But when I said this in chat the other night, somebody said, well, what about Four Swords Adventures? And that had sort of crossed my mind before, but I guess I never really considered Four Swords to be like a mainline Zelda game. Which is funny, because I actually bought it when it came out, thinking that it was, and then it turned out not to be, but it was still pretty fun. But I guess there's really no reason not to consider Four Swords part of... Like, this. it's a Zelda game, you know? So it makes sense that it would be. And the art style for Zelda in this game, and Four Swords, is pretty much identical. So, there is that too. And I assume that Link is kind of the same way. I don't know. I've seen so many iterations of Link at this point that I wouldn't even know, you know like, which ones are the same or different or whatever. I guess I can go over here. Those were the carpenters over there. I wasn't really paying attention. Lamont Ranch! Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that felt good. Definitely be grinding up some rupees off of y'all. Yeah, give it to me. I said, give it to me. Hey, what's up? What are you doing on the ranch? Minish Woods lie far to the south from here. If you get lost, check your map. Will do, will do. Oh, NCS, you're heading for Minish Woods now, aren't you? Leave the monsters that body free to us and go find the Victoria. That I can do. I do remember that the music in Minish Woods is really cool. Oh, tornadoes, yeah. That's another thing. There's a dungeon in this game that uses these. And watching people play that dungeon has always been sort of painful to me, because it just looks so unintuitive, I guess is the word. Now, the thing is, I'm sure if you actually play the game like I'm doing now, and when I actually get to that dungeon, I'm sure it'll be just fine. But still, it just looks, like, difficult, because it feels like you would need more depth perception than you get in a game like this to do that. But I'm probably wrong. I usually am. That's how I tend to be. I'm very good at being wrong about things, but yeah, still though. But just because this game doesn't have a twin doesn't make it any less. Like, that's not like a reason that I didn't play it, that's just something that's always kind of one of those things in the background I never really noticed before. I assume that was a bombable wall. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking my time here, sorry, I'm going a little slow. People are like anxious for me to get to that first dungeon or something, you know? I wish I had a shovel on me right now. Totally, uh, totally be going ape shit on this stuff. It's starting out pretty easy here. Oh yeah, yeah, you jump in these holes. Pretty sure there's something you can do with those later, although I don't quite remember what it is. Maybe just plant magic beans, I don't know. So is this it? Yes! Ah. Oh. This is not the music I was thinking of, but this is pretty good, though. Ah, oh, no, I drowned. <laughs> not too bad for me. I actually almost saw somebody drown last time we went to the water park this last summer with John. We were going down the water slides, and I got to the bottom, and they had, like, two water slides that both land in the same pool, but there's, like, a barrier between where you land and where they land, so, yeah. So, so I saw somebody on the other side of the barrier land, like this heavy set black dude got in there and he was like floundering and shouting help and the lifeguard jumped in to help him and just whack. It was kind of weird actually because I don't think I've never seen anybody. I've never seen that happen to somebody before. Like, it's almost happened to me a few times but you know. Like one time when I was little I tried to jump in the pool. I tried like I set up a float one of the ring shaped floats the donut floats I tried to jump into the hole in the middle of it, from outside the pool. Anyway, I landed with one leg inside the hole and one leg outside. Somehow, the ring flipped over, 
And so my entire body went under the water, and it was and it was moving in a certain direction with the ring, and my legs, like, all wrapped around it in some weird way. When I got to the edge of the pool, I managed to straighten myself out, but that was definitely three of the scariest seconds of my life. Maybe five seconds, I don't know how long it was. If I had that on camera. This would be the same pool where I uh, did the a bee thing, you know, that whole story. No, wait, stop that! No, stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yeah, that's right. Mm. Why am I saying yeah, that's right? I gotta help this dude. Wait, where is he? I gotta go help him. Is that a piece of heart? Wow, just sitting out there in the world. I love it. That's awesome. I hope they're all that easy to get. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Wait, so it's not... I can't, like, swim it. Yeah. Okay, so it's not up there. I can't get through there yet until I can do the thing. Which I kind of don't want to say for fear of spoilers, but, like, well, you're gonna find out eventually, I guess. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I went the wrong way back here. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I was getting all misty again. Pretty sure I was able to go up here. So let me, oh, it's right there. Hey. Hey, kid, you there! Oh no, what kind of voice am I gonna get for this guy? Hey, don't just stand there and do something, man! Ah, oh, dang it, what's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! No, that's not gonna be his voice. I'll, I'll, I'll think of something for him. But in the meantime, we'll just go regular here. Until I get a feel for it. Whew, well done! That was close! Not that I could handle them myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods, anyway? Oh, I see. Oh, man. The Picor, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone? What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. Because I am actually a cow. And I'd like to get back to the uh, shitting in the pastures as soon as possible. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, huh? Well, then you found yourself a companion, my boy. My boy! My name is Elmo. Ezlo. I, I'm not Pico, I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna steal his joke. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I could go with, like, the donkey Shrek quote, you know? Or the voice, like, donkey, like... Wah! Is this something about my face? Quit staring, it's rude! Well, that might be a little oh, over the top, but... Can I put you on? What, is this something about my face? Quit staring, it's rude! Okay, can I roll into you? Oh, I can't roll into you. Okay, maybe I just walk away. Oh, no, he's just following me. Okay, I get it. Wait, I say, you walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go on slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. I'm gonna take a little practice here. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Ah! Oh! If it is one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Oh. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My eyes are quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your scoring. Can't you sit still? See, there... Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Oh, such a hopeless child. Oh my god, I, I don't know if I like that voice either. Oh, we'll have to play around with it. So select. What? I ain't even had time to settle in. You're already bothering me. Deep with trying lies, obviously. Okay, no, let's let's. Uh... Deep with trying lies, obviously. No, deep in the heart of these woods. So says my superior intuitive sense. Now get a move on. Yeah, we can, we still do the voice, but just maybe not nearly as over the top, you know. <laughs> not since Phoenix Wright have I mulled over a voice this much. Jeez. Hmm. Hey, wait, this is how we came in, is it not? Let me just see. Hey, kid, where are you going? That's the way we just came from. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, that's where we just came from. What the heck, dude? You getting lost already? I suppose you are. It's just that whole spatial awareness thing. I assume I need bombs to break those, so, yeah. But that's the most obvious bombable walls I've ever been. Oh, so, oh going up here, right. Hey, wait a second, I can't jump. How am I supposed to jump? 
I gotta just go over here. This is cozy. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah, I thought I was onto something there. That did seem a little bit hidden to be like the main path, though. Yeah, I tell ya. Oh, can't get in the water, so I guess we're not going this way after all. Well, that's too bad. Okay, I can, maybe now I can go this way, though. So I tried to go this way earlier, and that's when it stopped me and showed me the cutscene of that horrible, horrible abuse that my friend suffered. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Huh? Who are the Minish? Oh yeah, silly me. Uh, allow me to explain. You humans call them Pecori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch small at first. Look at that! At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? No! That stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down the miniature size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Ugh, <clears throat> something in my throat, man. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Oh, wow, look at this. La la la, Hylian text. Make yourself the size of a pea. Aw, oh, this is so freaking. And this is why the world is bigger than you think. Ha <laughs> ha! This right here. Oh my god, it's like Earthbound in the Forgotten Land. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish! Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. <laughs> Portals that reduce your size are all around, in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there's one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles that show normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Hmm. So, like puddles like this, we won't be able to. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll just sneak through here. Yeah, it's like Earthbound, the Forgotten Land. Oh, shoot. Oh, wait, we may be able to ride these lily pads, though. Oh, no! Okay, be careful. Be a little more vigilant, shall we? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. That's one thing I, I always dreamed of this as a kid, of becoming super tiny. I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. Now, we're still minish sized here, but the camera's just big time zoomed in. But I assume the blades of grass have probably given that away by now. If not the acorns, or the giant leaves. Or the other acorns, or the sticks. Minish Village. Ah, oh, here we go. This is the music I was thinking of. Hmm, it appears we found the Minish Village. Wow! Oh my gosh! There's so many of them. They're all wearing little red hats. Pico Picori! Oh no! Reepy Reepico Picori! Picoco Picori Pico! Oh my gosh. I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying? Well, shit. I didn't understand them either. Yeah, that was the language of the fish. It's a little different from the dialect I'm most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they were saying myself. Well, perhaps there's someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Yes, we should. Pico Ricky Poco Tipo! He just said, I have herpes. And diarrhea at the same time. Pico Ricky Poco Tipo! He said the same thing. Wow, what a coincidence the two of them would have herpes. Pico Ricky Three! Oh, three of them now. Oh, these poor people. We'll do something for them. Yeah, man. Yeah, as a kid, I always wanted to just become really tiny. I had dreams about it. And just, wow. Hey! Yeah, I always forget this game came out after Ocarina, which you wouldn't think, you know. So once they advanced to 3D, you would think, oh, that's it, it was over. There's never, never, no going back to 2D. But nowadays, you look at games out there, it's like platformers are bigger than ever now. Between Celeste, The Messenger, Risk of Rain, like, uh, well, most of those are like indie games, but I'm sure there's some AAA platformers too, I'm just not thinking of, you know. 
Mm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I like to festar in my room. I watch the Abbey, uh, as well as listen to Abbey Road and the Shrine of the North. Er, the Shrine of the North. You uh, seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You can use a jabber nut. It will allow you to understand our tongue. Is it temporary? You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. Aw, thanks, dude. Very helpful. Is this like the Ocean Palace? No, that's Phantom Hourglass. And thank God we're not playing that right now. Even though I wouldn't totally object. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, once I've done this game, I've done them all except for Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and the CDI games, if you want to count those. I imagine nobody really cares if I play those. I don't really see that many people asking me to play Phantom Hourglass or Spirit Tracks, though, but I might play them someday. Like, just on my own time or whatever. Pico de Poco Tipo 4. Oh, block puzzles! Oh, hell yeah! Wait, 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 let me start over. I messed it up. So we need to, like, push this to the right, and there you go. Oh, and so yes! This must be Jabberduff, the star I told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabberduff! Now you can understand the language of the Minish. Yes. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I was wrong about what you have. So, you've eaten the Jabberduff, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Yeah, well, I gotta just call me special, I guess. I already have 32 rubies. Yeah, just gonna mosey on through here. Man, we're up to 42 minutes already. I guess I wouldn't mind the first part of this being a little long, though. You know, like 45. Hell, I might even go for an hour. <laughs> I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but I guess you've already seen whatever length this video turns out to be, so... There are so many monsters around these woods lately. The Elder said that even the Shrine to the North is filled with monsters now. Oh, the Shrine? You mean Level 1? Oh, I can't wait to go there. So that's the interesting thing, like some games, some dungeons you'll probably have to do as a Minish, others you'll do normal size. If you want to reforge that sword, you will need the help of an expert smith. Master Malari and his seven apprentices can help you. They live in the mountains where they can find all the ore they need. I'm sure the Elder will tell you about him if you ask. Oh, it's like a Goron over there. <laughs> no, it's a bed. Goron looks like a bed. Goron's gotta eat. Man. Mm -hmm. I guess now would be a good time to go talk to you. Oh, you speak our language! It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is NCS. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Oh yes, and you've come here now hoping to have the blade reformed? Ho ho ho, if that's, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. Oh, sweet. Sweet! Oh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like the Kokiri Emerald, Goron Ruby, the uh, Zora Mushroom, and the Purple Tri... It's Purple Bowling Pins. Yeah. The Earth Element can be found in the Shrine to the North of Festari's Abbey. Speak with Festari, he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance. <laughs> Go with caution, evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the Earth Element. Okay, I better return to you. I better not forget to do that. I always forget to do that. Who knows, though. Wow, Link's walking animation is sweet in this. We minutes live in Hyrule Town and other places too, not just in these woods. Good to know. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of minish live right in Hyrule Town. Oh, really? <laughs> Have you been living in my shoes? I'm getting set to leave for town and visit all my minish friends there. Good for you. <laughs> Hello again. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. 
Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. So, is this like our first dungeon here? We're really doing this now? Oh, maybe not quite yet. Wait, was that Pet Shop Boys, West End Girls? It started out kind of similar. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, it's this song. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you're better off dead. No, I, I wasn't saying that, I was quoting the song. Oh, I see. Finish, finish. finish. Yeah, so this is a Minish Dungeon, then. Oh, we're actually... I'm, I'm just gonna step inside and see. Deepwood Shrine, here we are. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait! What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here! What's Amisa saying? Better dead here than dead at the core. He gets! Yeah, we're not doing this right now, I'm just picking up the pots, but yeah. Next time on Minish Cap. Oh my god, I'm actually saying that. Ooh. Oh wow. You beat those. Can I roll into it? I guess not. Yeah, next time on Minish Cap, we're gonna start on our first dungeon. See you guys next time, and take care. Oh, and leave a like if you don't mind. That'd be awesome. See ya!